Imagine a person standing upright, their face is forward, and their eyes look straight ahead. This straightforward gaze is crucial for orientation. Their arms are by their sides, with palms facing forward. This position of the arms allows for a clear and consistent reference. Their legs are straight with feet flat on the ground and toes pointing forward. This stance ensures stability and balance. This is the anatomical position, a standard reference point used in anatomy. It provides a consistent framework for describing the locations and relationships of body parts. By using this position, healthcare professionals and anatomists can communicate with precision and avoid misunderstandings. It's the foundation for studying the human body. The anatomical position provides a universal frame of reference for medical professionals. It ensures everyone is talking about the same thing when describing the body accurately. Imagine trying to describe a location on a map without using a compass. The anatomical position is like a compass for the human body guiding us precisely. Directional terms help us explain the location of one body part in relation to another. These terms are essential in the medical field, as they provide a universal language for healthcare professionals to communicate accurately and efficiently. Understanding these terms can also help patients better understand their own bodies and the descriptions given by their doctors. Let's learn some key directional terms that are commonly used in anatomy and medicine. These terms will help you navigate the human body with ease and precision. Anterior, front. The breastbone is anterior to the heart. This means that the breastbone is located towards the front of the body, while the heart is situated behind it. Posterior, back. The heart is posterior to the breastbone. In other words, the heart is located towards the back of the body, behind the breastbone. Superior, above. The head is superior to the neck. This indicates that the head is positioned above the neck in the body's vertical axis. Inferior, below. The neck is inferior to the head. This means that the neck is located below the head in the body's vertical axis. Medial, toward the midline. The nose is medial to the ears. This means that the nose is closer to the midline of the body compared to the ears. Lateral, away from the midline. The ears are lateral to the nose. This indicates that the ears are positioned further away from the midline of the body compared to the nose. Proximal, closer to the point of attachment. The elbow is proximal to the wrist. This means that the elbow is closer to the point where the arm attaches to the body compared to the wrist. Distal, farther from the point of attachment. The wrist is distal to the elbow. This indicates that the wrist is further away from the point where the arm attaches to the body compared to the elbow. Understanding these terms can greatly enhance your comprehension of anatomical structures and their relationships within the body. Understanding these terms is essential for anyone studying anatomy. Directional terms allow us to describe the positions and relationships of structures in the body with precision and clarity. They help us accurately describe the location of organs, bones, muscles, and other structures. For instance, terms like superior and inferior indicate positions above and below a reference point, respectively. For example, we can say the liver is located in the superior right quadrant of the abdomen which means it is situated in the upper right part of the abdominal cavity, or the trachea is anterior to the esophagus, meaning the trachea is positioned in front of the esophagus. These terms provide a common language for communication among healthcare professionals. This shared vocabulary ensures that everyone understands the exact location and relationship of anatomical structures, which is crucial for diagnosis, treatment, and education.